Katie Bedell. I've been in the service for seven years. I joined when I was 12. I'm 18 and I live in Bowen Mountain. I'm in communications as well as Gross Fail and I help out with cadets in Cumberland. I started cadets at 12 and from there joined my brigade Gross Fail. When I turned 13 I joined comms. I did cadets at St Paul's and I was on the nationals and the state team there as well. I think the attraction was, you know, there's, there's a truck, it's, it looks cool, people don't really see girls doing cadets and that kind of thing and it's something that I've always been interested in doing. I keep doing it because it's, I like giving back to the community that helped save my house 17 years ago. I've always had a want and need for wanting to help people and it's just, it's my way of helping because I like doing it and it's fun to do for me. Mum and Dad have did communications during the 2001 Christmas fires and you know I would come in and I'd sit in the corner and be my little cheerful self. Gross Fail and comms kind of work hand in hand for me because out on the fire ground knowing what they want to hear back in, back in the operations centre it makes it easier for them back in here and it makes it easier for me when I am in here, having the knowledge of what it's like out on the fire ground and knowing they can't always give us everything at that very second. It helps having the two. Well, comms is, it's a rostered shift and you can do any from once every four weeks to there'll be a big fire on the weekend and you'll be here in half an hour. Gross fell, sorry, is you get a page, you're there in five minutes, out on the truck, off you go. I really like helping the younger kids and bringing them through cadets and then they stay on with the cadet brigade and go on and when they can join outside brigades and move further up and I really want to see them grow from what I've helped teach them. Next year I'll be studying to become a nurse at TAFE but I'm currently a waitress at a local Chinese restaurant as well as a restaurant in Parramatta and I babysit on Monday nights. We use our incident board and we put the magnet on the board right where they're going and the time that they actually left the station so that we can know how long they've been out for and we can track where they're going. What we do is we have incident reports and we have fire reports and in that we have to have the brigades that we've had out when they left, how many were on the crew. And then we use ICON, which is the information from ICON goes onto fires near me, so we can keep the public up to date. It keeps our duty officers happy, so they know what's going on. And it also, if head office want to have a look, they can see what's going on as well. The fire that's had the biggest impact on me would have to have been um, the Holdsworthy fire. Being on the ground and responding from Grossvale to Liverpool and seeing what was going on and seeing the residents. It was, it really hit home that there is, it, it's hard for them and you have people running up to you wanting to know what's going on and it's hard when you can't tell them because you don't know. So you've got to send them away, send them somewhere to get the information that you don't even have yet. And that's, that's one of the hardest things, not being able to tell them what's going on. I think the biggest challenge would have to be leaving your family at a minute's notice. So that pager goes off and you could be out for minimum, maximum, sorry, 12 hours. And they're worried and you can't tell them anything because you're working. And you know, I'm not the strongest person, I'm not the tallest person, but I think when we show up at an incident and you have a homeowner or you have a resident that's freaking out, I'm able to help calm them down, a calm voice to reassure you, calm nature about me to be approachable and not be a scary, ridiculously tall firefighter that you feel you can't talk to. 
Um, I'd say, you know, it's a lot, it, it does look daunting when you first walk in, but it's a lot of fun. It's, you know, making friends, getting more confidence. So I'd say, you know, if, if you want to join comms, go for it. Stressful, very rewarding, but it can also have, it can have its downsides. Thank you.